years of fine foods for the whole family. Looking for something for dinner? Oh, something for your dog. Well, ma'am, look over here. Here's brand new Meat Red Kennel Meal. It's better than meat alone because it contains more nutrients than meat alone provides. New Kennel Meal is the meal that shouts meat, meat, meat to your dog. It's a completely balanced dinner dogs love as much as meat itself. Real meat meal, carefully blended with other good things, gives new kennel meal meat aroma. Meat red color, meat flavor, plus protein and energy in every bite. It's a distinctive blending of all the nutrients, vitamins, and minerals dogs are known to need. New kennel meal doesn't stick to the dish, has an appetizing aroma. Get the brand new meal that shouts meat, meat, meat to your dog. New Meat Red Kennel Meal. Now, Quaker invites you to enjoy The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet. Getting ready for what? Well, you know, we're going out. We are? Well, where? To the lecture at the Woman's Club. <laughs> Why don't you tell me about these things? Give a guy a little warning. I did. I told you about it at breakfast. Well, what's the lecture about it? Is Mrs. Van Scoyt going to talk about her trip to the Grand Canyon again? No, nothing like that. Mrs. Peabody's going to speak on togetherness. Togetherness? Yes, you know. Yes, I know, and I don't want to go. Oh, come on. You'll enjoy it when you get there. She's a very interesting speaker. Well, uh, what about the boys? I figured on staying home and spending the evening with them tonight. Night, Pop. Night, Mom. Dave, where are you going? I'm going to the movies with Rick. But you remember I told you about her breakfast this morning. Oh, oh, yeah. You're going to that lecture with Mom, aren't you? Oh, <laughs> well, I, I guess I am. You're darn right you are. It'd be pretty embarrassing to go to a lecture on togetherness without my husband. <laughs> be right there, Rick. I have fun at the lecture, Pop. And so, as the word suggests, togetherness is simply the enjoyment of doing things together. As husband and wife and as a family. Not just sharing living quarters, but really doing things together. And you husbands, help your wives more around the house. Discover the fun of sharing in her little chores. That's what real togetherness means. I repeat, that's what real togetherness means. Oh, isn't she wonderful? Oh, yes. Yeah. It's really not difficult to achieve. Not if you try. Snoring. Uh, of course, I mean really try. And you wives, don't neglect your husbands. Pitch in. Learn to play poker. Join him on those fishing trips. Play golf with him. And when you're downtown shopping, drop in at the office for a friendly little chat. Or perhaps join him in a cup of tea. Yes, ladies, that's real togetherness. Well, I don't feel that I should take up any more of your time. feel that I should take up any more of your time. You've been a most attentive audience. And please, invite me back again real soon, won't you? Uh, thank you. We could have been home watching television. She only thought you know what you're getting into. Well, maybe you did. The parents told me they were going to show pictures of sail pitching. Thank you, Mrs. Peabody. It was such a pleasure to have you with us. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our little program for this evening. But I hope you'll all stay for refreshments. And I would like to remind you that next month, Betty Van Skoik will talk about her trip to the Grand Canyon. <laughs> Thank you. Very good. She was very good, wasn't she? Just wonderful. wonderful. Well, she had some good ideas, but I thought she came on kind of strong. Well, you came on kind of strong yourself. 
you're suggesting I was snoring, I wasn't. I wasn't even asleep. <laughs> oh, you're giving a pretty good imitation of it. <laughs> hey, that looks good. And that's my sandwich. She missed the whole point of Mrs. Peabody's lecture. Togetherness, the husband and wife sharing, sharing sandwiches and all sorts of things. You know, of course, that Mrs. Peabody's husband is divorcing her. Really? Who told you that? I'm only kidding. But wouldn't it be fun to start a rumor to that effect? <laughs> you know, I think next time we ought to leave these guys home. So do I. Now, there would be real together. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm sorry you had such a boring evening. Oh, well, I didn't mind it. It was fun to get out for a change. And I really think she had some good points there. You aren't going to eat again, are you? Oh, I just thought I'd investigate. I think I'll watch television for a while. Okay, what's on? Uh, I'm not sure. I think they're playing this English detective picture again. You probably wouldn't like it. I'll force myself. Well, why? You don't have to do that. You mean you watch something I want to see? Well, like what? Okay, I'll watch the old English movie. Just as long as we're doing something together. <laughs> For goodness sakes, Harry, I hope you're not taking that lecture to heart. Hi. Well, hi, hi fellas. Boys. How was the lecture? Well, it wasn't too bad. This woman talked about togetherness. Sounds like a great way to break up families. No, that was the point of the lecture. The importance of the whole family doing things together. I think she's right, too. Her husband's probably a traveling salesman. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. It's kind of interesting, though. It's too bad you guys weren't there. Yeah, you could have had a nice little snooze with your father. <laughs> Wait a minute. I wasn't sleeping. I was just resting my eyes a little. Okay, then what was the lecture all about? Well, togetherness. Families ought to spend more time together, do things together. Like what, for instance? Well, uh, like listening to lectures. You mean about families spending more time together? Well, yeah, that's right. Uh, what were some of the other things, Harriet? Well, she made quite a point of the husbands helping the wives with their household chores. Oh, really? Uh, I guess maybe I did sleep through part of it. <laughs> I think you just heard the parts you wanted to hear. <laughs> Impossible. Well, good night, fellas. Good night, Pa. Well, I thought you were going to watch television. Uh, no, it, it's a little late. Oh, well, don't you guys stay up too late now? No, we won't. We just want to watch this one show. Do you think they were dropping a few hints? What do you mean? You know, about the family spending more time together? No, it's possible. We don't spend as much time with Mom and Pop as we used to. You know, of course, that's only natural. Maybe we ought to make a special effort. Yeah. Hey, I've got an idea. What? Why don't we get up early tomorrow and have breakfast with him? Do you have any plans for tomorrow? I don't know. Uh, like what? Well, I'm going to make some new kitchen curtains, and I thought maybe you'd like to come downtown and help me pick out the material. Oh, <laughs> gee, Harry, I'd love to, but I don't know a darn thing about curtains. I just thought it might be fun if we went downtown together. Well, <laughs> to be honest with you, I was kind of thinking about playing golf tomorrow. Okay, we'll play golf. <laughs> Not if you'd rather go shopping. Okay, then we'll go shopping. Well, no, I, I meant uh, you go shopping and I'll play golf. Well, I thought we could do something together. And since you don't know anything at all about curtains and I know a little bit about golf, why don't we play golf together? Well, gee, I, I've already made a, a date to play with Joe. Can I play with you too? Well, no, well, sure, if you'd like to play along. Uh, of course, we're going to leave kind of early. I'll be up. <laughs> I, uh, I guess it'll be all right with the other fellas. <laughs> Stop worrying. I was just testing you. I wanted to see if you really would have let me play golf with you. Oh, <laughs> of course I would. Look, you can play golf with me anytime you want. You really mean that? Well, of course I do. You know it. How about tomorrow? <laughs> well? Okay, we'll play golf tomorrow then. Okay. You all ready? I just have to get my golf shoes. Well, don't take too long now. Are you sure you want me to play? <laughs> uh, last night you kept nagging, uh, that I, I <laughs> nagging me, but you kept saying we ought to play golf together, and I agreed. Yeah, I know. It was very thoughtful of you, but I'm giving you one more chance to get off the hook. Well, uh, no. I, I, I think it'd be very nice uh, for us to play together. What about Joe and Darby? Well, I'll go over right now and explain it to Joe. Okay, I'll be waiting for you. Yeah, uh, I was just coming over to see you. Uh, there, there's been a, a slight change in plans. What do you mean? Uh, 
Well, uh, see, uh, I got to thinking. Now, just a second. You're not trying to tell me you're going to play with Harriet. Uh, uh yeah. <laughs> for that lecture last night, huh? That togetherness stuff? No, no, no. I didn't, but, but Harriet did. But you gave in. Uh, well, after all, I, I married. Is there any harm in a man playing golf with his wife once in a while? It's just for this one day. It isn't as if we're every day in the week. Oh, sure, sure, of course. Adi. Uh, uh, will you explain the situation to Darb, please? Sure. I'll tell him Henpeck Nelson isn't playing today. <laughs> play golf, don't you think you ought to push your own cart? Okay. You can't discourage me that easily. <laughs> oh, Harriet! Well, Clara, look who's here. Oh, if it isn't old Henpeck Randolph. Oh, isn't this wonderful? It certainly is. That lecture must have really done the trick. Joe gave in so easily it almost took the fun out of nagging him. <laughs> Really? He gave right in, huh? Well, yes, didn't he tell you when he came over this morning? No, he neglected to mention that. Well, what do you go over there for, anyway? Let's play and we all play together. Yeah, yeah, let's make a friendly foursome out of it. Okay, Harriet, you tee off. On the way home in the car last night. This is wonderful. Now we can make it a sixthem. There's no such thing as a sixthem. You either play a foursome or a twosome. Hi. Hi. Hello, Hello boy. Hi. Right, well, what are you guys doing here? Well, after what you said last night, we talked it over and decided we ought to play golf with you. We'd like to play golf with you and Mom. Well, that's wonderful. Now we can have our own family foursome. Why don't we phone home and get our kids to play, too? No, no, that's not necessary. We can divide it up somehow. Uh, just so we don't split up husbands and wives, of course. Oh, naturally, we don't want to do that. <laughs> Pardon me, uh, I'm playing alone. Would you mind if I played on through? Oh, no, go right ahead. Oh, uh, wait, you're Mr. Peabody, aren't you? Yes. Uh -huh. Oh, that was the most wonderful speech your wife made last night. Oh, thank you. Well, uh, uh, by the way, uh, where is she? How come she's not playing with you? Are you kidding? Do you know that a glass of milk and three oatmeal cookies provide from 20 to 25% of the protein you need every day? So it's a good idea to keep your cookie jar filled with popular oatmeal cookies. They're wonderful for desserts and snacks anytime. In fact, because of the protein in oatmeal cookies, they're especially good as a dessert for athletes and for men and women on weight control diets. And oatmeal cookies are easy to make, too, with a quick one-bowl recipe. It's right on your package of quick or old-fashioned Quaker oats. And mother's oats, too, the very same oatmeal. Everything goes in one bowl. Shortening, brown and white sugar, egg, water, and vanilla. Then after beating thoroughly, you add the sifted flour, salt, and soda and mix well. Now you put in Quaker oats or mother's oats and blend. Raisins or nuts, of course, can be added. In a jiffy, you have five dozen delicious oatmeal cookies. Why not make some for the whole family tomorrow? Oh, I'll get it. Hello? Oh, hi, Barbara. Oh, yeah, I heard about it, but I don't think we can make it. Yeah, Dave and I thought we ought to spend a little time with the folks. Yeah, well, I'll see you in class Monday. Okay, goodbye. Well, uh, you didn't turn down a date on our account, did you, Rick? Oh, no, that's all right. Uh, see, there was this party, but we thought we'd like to spend the weekend with you and Mom. Oh, well, you don't have to do that. The golf game was enough. Oh, yeah, it sure was. What's this? <laughs> I think it was enough for the boys to do. I admit I didn't play very well. Oh, yes, you did, Harriet. I thought you played fine. What do we do tonight? How about a movie? Hey, I got an idea. Uh, why don't we go bowling? That's always a lot of fun. Yeah, or we could go roller skating. Hey, why don't we let Pop take us to dinner? That's my idea of a good time. Well, we can do all those things. Hey, why don't we start with Pop taking us to dinner? Well, then we better start with Mom lending Pop some money. <laughs> yeah, I have a wonderful time. 
wonderful idea for tomorrow afternoon. Let's go to the museum. Well, we used to go to the museum lots of times. You boys always seem to enjoy it. Yeah, but that was when we were a lot younger. We didn't have any choice. <laughs> okay, we'll go to the museum tomorrow afternoon, uh, but where will we eat dinner tonight? Well, uh, since you're paying for it, I think it's only fair that we let you choose. Well, okay. Uh, how about that little Italian restaurant downtown? Oh, gee, I don't feel like Italian food tonight, Pop. Well, how about that little French place? French food's always very interesting. Oh, well, the, I, I, I don't care for frog's legs and snails and, and things like that. Hey, how about some hamburgers at the Greasy Westcott? <laughs> Wouldn't you rather go, go someplace special for a change? Hey, here's an idea. <laughs> that, that doesn't do anything for you? Doesn't do a thing for me. <laughs> you guys change your clothes, or I'll surprise you. Do you have family-style Mexican dinners? Oh, si, senor. We have very fine family dinners. But in a $5.65 dinner, you get lots of nice things. Well, uh, what do you get on that? For four people, you get guacamole, arroz con pollo, chile rellenos y tostadas. Don't you get enchiladas with that? Not with that dinner, senora. But for the $1.95, you get albondiga soup, tacos, enchiladas, y frijoles retritos. I kind of wanted some spare ribs. That's on the $2.25 dinner. You get the Mexican-style spare ribs with the tostadas and the Mexican sweet potato. No tamales con frijoles? Ay, chihuahua. That's in the $1.10 dinner. That's all you get. <laughs> well, why don't we all order what we want a la carte? Well, no, that would ruin the whole idea of the dinner. The whole point of eating together was to make it kind of a family affair. You know, senor, you do all right. That's why we call it the family style. The whole family comes in and argues about what they were going to eat. <laughs> well, uh, uh, why don't you order for us? Is Papa paying for the bill? Uh, yes, he is. I fix you up good. <laughs> Sir, what can I do for you? Uh, I'd like an alley, please. There are four of us. Oh, I'm sorry they're all in use, but if you'll give me your name, I'll let you know when we have one. Oh, well, my name is uh, Nelson. Uh, about uh, how long would that be, would you figure? Oh, about 45 minutes. Hi, Oz. Oh, hi, Darb. Well, you gonna bowl? Well, I don't know. The alleys are all taken. Well, Joe and Doc and I have one. Come bowl with us. Oh, are you sure? Uh, we have four of us, Harriet and the two boys. That's all right. We have our families here, too. Uh, they'll bowl with us. Come oh, on, I'll cheat. Alley five. Harriet, Dave, Rick, Alley 5. Alley 5? 16 people on one alley? Here's some more batter. Oh, thanks. Hurry up, Pop. Well, what happened to the batch I just made? Oh, we ate those. Well, all of them? Well, after all, we're hungry. We just got up. Come on, Dave. Hey, hey, wait a minute, you guys. We're supposed to eat breakfast together. Well, we are. Yeah, but you'll be finished before we are. What kind of togetherness is that? Well, when we finish these, we'll help you eat yours. <laughs> it's a good thing we didn't learn how to do this years ago, or we'd have been doing it every day. <laughs> Stop complaining. Hey, when we're finished with this, will you and Pop help us wash the cars? It's a deal. <laughs> David, turn the water on, will you? I did turn it on. Well, turn it all the way on. It sure was a wonderful dinner, Harriet. Oh, well, don't thank me. Everybody pitched in. You mashed the potatoes, David made the salad, and Ricky stood around and looked hungry. 
What's on the schedule for tonight? Well, we've been out the last two nights. Why don't we watch television? Oh, yeah, there's a show I want to see. Well, wait a minute, there's a show I want to see. Listen, I've got an idea. Let's everyone write down his favorite shows, and we'll put them all in the hat. And whichever ones are picked out, we'll watch. Oh, oh no. I... Any star heads can listen to the radio. <laughs> What'd you bid three no Trump on? Well, I thought I could make it. You had no right to redouble. Uh... You guys owe us $126,425. Just put it on my account. <laughs> what do we do now, Pop? Well, I don't care. Don't make me the cruise director. How about watching television? Oh, we did that last night. And the night before. No, the night before we played chess. While we were watching television. And that's pretty hard to do. <laughs> well, how about... No, we've already done that. Well, you didn't even let oh. me suggest anything. Well, it oh, doesn't I matter. Can... We've exhausted all the possibilities. Well, yeah, it sounds like fun. Who is it? It's Betty. There's a whole gang over there, and she wants to know if Rick and I could come over. Oh, well... Well, gee, Betty, I I'm sorry. Uh, uh, wait a second. Oh, wait a second. Uh, what were you going to say, Pop? Well, uh, if you guys would like to go, why don't you? Oh, if you're sure it's all right. Well, sure. It's okay. We'll see you in a little while. <laughs> Thanks, Pop. Good night, okay. dear. Hi, Mom. Good night, dear. <laughs> well, it didn't take long to get out of here. Well, anything special you'd like to do? Mm -hmm. Let me think. There's an awfully good picture at the Bijou. Oh. Gee, I don't feel much like seeing a movie. I was talking to your mother on the phone today, and she said she heard it was awfully good. Well, this probably wouldn't interest you, but there are some real good fights at the stadium. The main event doesn't start until 10 o'clock. Hey, here's an idea. How would it be if I went to the movies with Mother, and you called up Darby and went to the fights? Well, are you sure you wouldn't mind? Of course not. <laughs> well, what about our family togetherness? Well, after all, I don't want to neglect Mother, and Darby's practically like one of the family. Well, yeah, that, that's a good... Uh, that, that's... <laughs> <laughs> Murphy went down, everybody started to yell, so I jumped up and I accidentally bumped into Darby just as he was eating a hot dog and spilled the mustard all over his shirt and tie. <laughs> Did he get mad? Ah, oh, no, you know Darby. He got the laugh and he couldn't stop. <laughs> That's almost as bad as what happened to Ricky. He was carrying a big tray of sandwiches and tripped and spilled the whole thing right in Wally's lap. <laughs> well, listen to what happened to me. I was coming out of the theater, and I thought my left shoe seemed kind of loose. And I looked down, and there I was wearing one black shoe and one brown one. <laughs> well, that's what you get for kicking them off. <laughs> well, I got to laughing at me, and all of a sudden I looked at her. She was wearing my other shoe. <laughs> at least we all have fun. What are we going to do tomorrow night? Well, uh, Joe Randolph asked me if I'd like to go bowling with him. Uh, do you want to join us? Oh, I don't think so, thanks. Clara said she'd like to come over and help me with the new curtains. Oh, uh, well, how about you guys? Oh, gee, I got a date, Pa. Well, I've got an exam coming up. I have to do a little studying. Gee, uh, what's happened to our togetherness program? Well, I think it's working out just fine. Look at all the fun we've just had talking about all the things we didn't do together. <laughs> That's right. That's what we've always done. Yeah, I, I guess so. You know, I think togetherness is a wonderful idea and something we should all strive for. But like anything else, it can be overdone. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. We can all have great affection and loyalty for each other, but that doesn't mean we all have to be doing the same things at the same time. What you're really trying to say is you don't like my rock and roll records. <laughs> I think he doesn't want Mom riding my motorcycle anymore. No, no, no. What your dad means is that everybody gets to eat his own ice cream. But we all pitch in and do the dishes. Did I say that? I think the answer lies in knowing just when to step in and share things with your family and when to leave them alone. Of course, a lot of it's a question of just being lucky. Do you remember a few years ago when Ozzy and Ricky and I pitched in to make David's first fraternity party a success? For a while, we were afraid we'd overdone it. It wasn't until the party was over that we found out well, maybe you remember the scene. Gee, Mom, Pop, I don't know how to thank you. Everybody said this is the best party the Kappa Sig's ever had. Oh, that's oh, wonderful. Uh, I'm glad everybody had such a good time. That's fine, Dave. And you and Mom sure made a big hit with everybody. Even Ricky thank was you. less obnoxious than usual. I thought I was quite charming myself. <laughs> you were wonderful, dear. 
Well, they sure are a great bunch of kids, Dave. And that little Kathy is just about the nicest little girl you've ever been out with. She certainly is. Well, thanks. I'm glad you liked her. Well, you better get her home, Dave. You don't want to keep her out too late. I don't have to worry about that, Pop. Her mother seemed to take a liking to me right away. Oh, wow. Well, glad to hear that. Yeah, I went to pick Kathy up at her house tonight, and her mother answered the door. And I said, I'm David Nelson. She said, hello, I'm Kathy's mother. And all of a sudden, I found myself saying, gee, you look young enough to be your sister. <laughs> it was really the truth, though. She is very young looking. Oh, that's good. I'm glad everybody had such a good time. Yeah, so am I. And even if you do look young enough to be my sister, I'm glad you're my mother. Well, thank you, dear. <laughs> yeah, I think she's pretty special, too. You know, Dave, sometimes parents like us are a little reluctant to let you guys go. So if we seem to hang on to you, you've just got to be a little understanding about us. See, we want you to grow up and get along without us, and yet we hate to lose our little boys. Seems like yesterday when I'd go into your bedroom at night, two little toe-headed guys would be sleeping there, and I'd go over and kiss you goodnight. Now I have to shake hands. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean, Pop. Well, you better not keep the others waiting, dear. Okay, and thanks again, Mom. Good night, dear. Good night, Dave. Pop. You wouldn't dare. Next week, Ozzy and Harriet will be brought to you by... Now let's look in on David and Ricky as they enjoy a good time all over again, as big as life and in brilliant lifelike color. How do they do it? Well, let's watch and see. The secret lies in color slides. The color slides they take with their new Kodak pony camera. The pony is easy to use, precise and uncomplicated. There's only one exposure setting to make, and this built-in guide shows you what it should be. Then you turn this dial to close-ups, groups, or scenes, and shoot. The pony camera makes you feel like an expert, even if you've never taken color slides before. The result? Big as life pictures in glorious color. Ask your Kodak dealer to show you the color slide camera David and Ricky use. The Kodak Pony Camera, only $29.50 or as little as $3 down. Ozzie and Harriet have been brought to you tonight by the Quaker Oats Company. Quaker, producers of more than 50 foods for the family. Next time you shop, try one of the many fine products of the Quaker Oats Company. This has been an ABC Television Network film presentation.